All right, so I'm gonna mod my computer case again. Um, the first time I modded it, I added this big red button that says hands off that doesn't really do anything, but looks cool. Um, then I added a side window to the computer, which is kind of nice to have. Um, I did lose some venting when I added the side window to it. And the way I have it set up right now is that there's basically neutral to negative pressure in the case right now, which is not good because I only have one intake, one outtake, and then the power supply is an outtake. There's no ventilation for the top. And I've seen a five to six degrees Celsius um, increase when I add the side panel. So what I'm gonna try to do is make more holes or places to put the um, fans here. And I'm gonna try to add this one to the top and this one to the bottom. I might have to add a thicker rubber feet to this so it would work better eventually. But first steps first is to take apart this computer and see what I have to work with. And I'm gonna be using my Dremel and hopefully that will work. Have my boxes all set over there so I can put my precious graphics card and other components away. I actually don't know who made this uh, case here. It's kind of old and it's from the first computer I owned. All right. So I already made the uh, sharp marks on here. I'm try to figure out how I'm gonna use the Dremel to Dremel my way through here. Who's calling me? Mm -hmm. So at this point in the video, I had some issues with uh, trying to figure out how to get the holes lined up correctly. What I ended up doing was marking at least one hole with uh, one of the tools of the Dremel that actually could go down into the fan so I can line it up right and just mark it. But I used a drill bit, an actual drill bit on the Dremel and drill the holes in. And that's what happened there. Sorry you missed it. All right, so over here, uh, probably should have done this outside. I've been using a rag to wipe off the uh, metal, but right now this thing is screwed into holes into the case, which means that I can mount and fan now. I just need to make holes for the air to go through. Hot, hot task outside. It is melting hot out there. Um, it's probably a, a very bad week to be doing this. Well, actually, it might be ten times easier if I use the extension here. All right. So you see this little uh, part for the extension for my Dremel. This little. I lost it once. Well, not this one. I lost the first one I had once. 
And I was so mad because I wanted to start using this thing here. I was going to try out um, glass etching and see how it was kind of fun. But um, I couldn't find it, so I couldn't use this thing right. And I, eventually I got so frustrated, I said, you know what, I'm just going to buy it. So I paid like $5 for this thing or something like that for this little little metal piece that just goes on there so it um, connects to the little rod inside here. And I think maybe a couple months later, I found it. I found the missing part. And guess where it was? It was glued to the bottom of a Pinewood Derby car I'd made. I was using it as a weight. All right, to the outside. I really should be wearing um, some eye protection, but... That wasn't good. And that is why these things are so expensive, because they wear out. And that means they can get make more money. So do you know where the piece went? Oh no, it broke into a million pieces. Oh. Now you may be asking, hey, what's that big hole right there? Well, that was my attempt to open it up with pliers. Uh, that was a bad idea, and it turns out I didn't really need to do it, so I just kind of left it like that. Put it down all the way once to start recording. It is recording. It is recording? Yep, right now. Okay. So now I'm going to use this electric duster from Datavac, made in the uh, very own USA here. I love this thing. It's awesome. To uh, blow out as much of the metal as possible before I wash it with water. Well, I love this thing, it's awesome. All right. Next step is to water wash this, which I'm probably going to, um, I was going to use a hose, but we don't have a hose apparently. Aren't you glad I took out all the components to my computer first? Convect, or convect a new, I don't know, how you say it. Oven. That means we could put our convect, pop this thing in there, and maybe it could dry faster. It's still wet. Yeah, I'm using a damp rag. Don't question my logic. I'm already questioning it. Now I'm going to use a dry rag. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is pop this baby in the oven on convec con convec. Oh wait, I can do this. I forgot. I can take this entire thing out. 
ta-da, the actual switch. So I don't know whether or not it actually works. Because last time I tried to do anything with this switch, I, um, I crossed wires and fried the Molex uh, wires on the power supply I was using before the one I'm using now. The power supply still works, just not the Molex connector cables. Those kind of melted a little bit. Push, and you pull it out. Or you can just do this and it does nothing. But yeah, so switch button, plug your wires in there. Cool, huh? 170 degrees. All right, that's as low as it goes. Bam! Um, and now we wait for the oven to get hot. <laughs> Can't find oh, uh, oven mitts, so just gonna use these. Nice and hot. Yes, very hot right now. Actually, I probably should not sit on this squishy feet at the moment. When these are warm, they're surprisingly easy, easy to take off. And look at that water. Is it dry? That is the question of the hour. Is it dry? The entire hour? That's a very long time, Matt. I say we test out putting a fan in the top and see if it really works. Alright, so we're moving this back over here. And we're going to make a temporary uh, bench right here with two chairs because chairs. Um, which are really, I think these are the only fans that I've been able to find that actually glow purple. Yeah, 24 minutes worth of recording left. Alright. Um, well, I don't know what happened to my two, two, three rolls of electric tape. I found some, uh, sm a small one here, but, oh well. Isn't that awesome? Woo! And it's gonna light up purple. That's awesome. All right. Cool. So, next step is goodbye tape. Um, putting her back together. Putting her back together. Yes. So, and um, which one called? Fast speed. The 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 kapui. All right. So what happened from here was we ran out of space on the um, second camera we were using. So yeah, I just, we just didn't record the rest of it. I did try to get rid of some of the old photos and the other uh, videos that were on the camera and couldn't get rid of much. With the leftover free space, I managed to uh, take a short video of you know, it all put together and what, how it looks with the, with the side open and I also took these pictures here and um, hopefully show you kind of how it ended up and yeah, enjoy.
results. I forgot to give you uh, you guys results. Uh, what I thought about all this effort in modding. Uh, I was I was just so tired from uh, editing the video that it just slipped my mind. All right, um, results. I think it looks pretty awesome. I, in fact, when I first turned it on, I, I said this looks sick. Performance, performance-wise, this thing actually just adding another intake uh, dramatically changed the inside uh, temperature. Uh, I believe it, it dropped down to. Uh, see, I don't know the exact numbers because I didn't remember to take note of what it was before uh, I added the fan, but I did notice it was a lot lower, uh, it, even at idle, and. I'd say at least 7 to 10 degrees Celsius lower, which is really good. I also added a resistor, um, a little resistor extension to the uh, back fan, the outtake fan. I, I didn't really do that to make it spit out less, I just did that to reduce the noise. That may have affected the inside temperature as well, or created a little bit more positive pressure, I'm not sure, but um, yeah. So was it worth it? I think it was worth it. I think it was definitely worth the effort. And it was quite fun and it was hot outside and if it wasn't so hot outside and if I had a little bit more caffeine throughout doing it, I might have actually decided to put a fan on the bottom and actually do the holes. I forgot in the moment. I, as soon as I was finished with whatever I was doing, I said, all right, time to wash it out. So I started washing it out. I realized, oh wait, I never put the other hole in there. I'll skip it. Yeah, so didn't do that. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, hopefully this piqued your interest in modding. Maybe you realize, hey, maybe it's not so hard after all. I mean, I did this with a really hard metal case here. One thing you might notice is that there's this huge gaping hole on top where the fan is and anything could happen. But luckily it's on my on the top of my desk, so nothing's not much has the possibility of falling on top of it uh, or through it. I might add a grill over it eventually. That looks really cool with that one. It's quieter with that one too. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening, day, lunch, dinner, breakfast, morning, uh, noon, whatever it is for you. Whatever it is for you. Have a good one.